Morning. The boss tells me that both new and returning customers have nothing but good things to say about you. <laughs> I have to admit, I was a little worried about throwing you right into the deep end, but it looks like you've got what it takes to handle the day to day here. So it should be plain sailing. Well, just as long as we don't run into any extremely picky customers with unreasonably specific requests. Oh, have you had someone like that before? Of course. The worst are those old scholars who have barely cooked a day in their life, but think reading a stack of books on the topic makes them the expert. They criticize you for no reason, claiming your cooking method isn't faithful to the original, or that the flavor profile isn't authentic because you used an ingredient that wasn't in their beloved centuries-old version of the recipe. This is Wang Shuin. Hmm, it does have the look and feel of a time-honored establishment. Keeper. We'll have each of your signature dishes, please, as fast as you can serve them. The most expensive ones. Farzan! Oops, uh, Madam Farzan. <laughs> oh my! Traveler, Paimon, whatever are you doing here? We could ask you the same thing! Where'd you suddenly get the funds to go sightseeing? And to order the most expensive things on the menu? <laughs> I'm not here to sightsee. Exemplary scholars like myself are highly sought after by cruise operators in need of an onboard consultant as they travel the world. Uh, uh, Madam Farzan, please, uh, slow down. Uh, none of us slept last night. How come Madam Farzan still has so much energy? Uh, if she's really over a hundred years old, I don't understand how she keeps going. <sighs> it's all my fault. She's been like this ever since I told her I'd be paying the expenses. Layla! And... Dory? Huh. Never would have bet on this combination. Temporary chef, huh? Wow, no rest for the wicked. Well, if the chef here is trusting you to run his whole kitchen, then I've got no doubt we're in for some authentic Leoa specialties. So, why are you all in Leoa again? Something about being an onboard consultant? I got my hands on a new boat from Fontaine a while ago, equipped with cutting edge navigation technology. If we manage to spread the word, it could have huge business potential. Right now, we're doing some test runs. We sailed from Port Ormos to Rito, then from Rito to Liyue Harbor. Next, we're planning to go to Dornman Port. Oh, Madame Farazan and me were hired to fine-tune the compass and other equipment. We sailed around the Sea of Clouds all of last night to put the system through some stress testing. Over time for which they'll both be fairly compensated. They're both here willingly. The contract is crystal clear on that. You really cover all your bases, don't you? Let Paimon guess. Paying the expenses is part of the compensation, isn't it? No wonder Madame Farozan is going for all the most expensive dishes. <laughs> it's not every day someone tells you to order whatever you like. Now, first up, we'll have the... <clears throat> Farzan, uh, Madam Farzan, that is, while I am more than happy to treat you both to the most expensive dishes on the menu, we must remember that most expensive does not always mean best. I've heard that the most expensive dishes in Liyue are usually either seafood based or take an exceptionally long time to prepare. Now, I don't know about you two, but after so many days at sea, I don't think I can so much as look at another piece of seafood again for at least the foreseeable future. Huh. That's actually a good point. Not 
forgot to mention that poor Layla here looks like she's about to faint from hunger. Huh? Oh, that's not because of hunger. Surely the wise and virtuous Madame Farazan could not bear to watch her poor students sit here and waste away. Oh, well, of course I care about my students' well-being, but why do I feel like I'm being tricked? So, let's not order anything that'll take too long to prepare. Aside from that, and seafood, we'll take whatever other expensive dishes you have. Over to you, Traveler! No seafood and nothing that takes too long to cook. The rest is up to you. <laughs> hmm. I had my eye on Adeptus Temptation, bamboo shoot soup, and golden shrimp balls. But I suppose they'll have to wait for the next time. But that could be years from now. Aww, Madame Farazan looks so deflated all of a sudden. Um, please still try to choose dishes on the expensive side, okay? <sighs> so... Expensive, but no seafood, and nothing that takes too long to cook. That rules out pretty much our entire menu. <sighs> Do these people get a kick out of being impossible to please? Ugh, that Dory! Is she doing this on purpose? <laughs> this isn't Liuli Pavilion or Xinhua Kiosk. This is Wangshu Inn. We don't stock up on rare and exotic ingredients. We only get them in if someone puts in a special reservation. <sighs> well, if we're stuck with regular ingredients and we're on a time limit, there's only one way to bump up the price. And that's by cooking a dish that uses the chef's expertise and creativity to the fullest. As it happens, I know a recipe for something called trembling strings and rushing reeds. It can be whipped up quickly with what we already have in the kitchen. One plate usually goes for a 30,000 mora. 30,000? But if it's quick to make and isn't fancy, what exactly makes it so special? Quick doesn't have to mean quick and easy. To perfect this dish, you need expert knife work and very precise control over the heat. You have to finely slice several different types of meat into fine threads knead them together into strips, then gently stir-fry them in the pan. What you end up with is a whole variety of flavors that come through layer by layer. This dish is unique in offering a harmonious blend of multiple kinds of meat, all cooked to perfection, while still bursting with their own distinct flavors. Do it right, and you've got a culinary masterpiece in your hands. But if you botch it, it's... Just a bunch of meat thrown on a plate. Oh, Paima gets it now! So this dish gets its value not from the ingredients, but the chef's expertise! Now don't worry. I can take care of the kneading and other prep work for you. You just focus on bringing it all together. Believe in yourself. You can do this! And if you mess it up, Paima will still be happy to eat it. <laughs> Legend has it that a master chef once made this dish from five different kinds of meat. It speaks to my lack of skill that I can only handle three.
enjoy. Ooh, smells delightful. Oh, we meant to ask, have you two eaten breakfast yet? If not, why don't you join us at the table? Uh, did Dory just offer us a free meal? When did she become so generous? <laughs> Let's not forget that the biggest business deals are always settled over a meal. Come on, come on, come on, sit down and join us. Everyone dig in. This dish looks simple enough, and I did my research, so surely it can't cost all that much. Worst case scenario, maybe 10,000 mora? This dish had better be worth working overtime all night for. Well, Traveler, this is the moment of truth. Oh, so tired. So sleepy. I just want to eat up and get to bed. Is this... foul? Oh, wait. No, the texture is more like shroom boar. There's a different flavor in every bite. And the discerning palate might detect a hint of something smoked, too. Quite marvelous. How is this made? Ham? But I don't see any ham anywhere. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha! So you've noticed. Yep, every single strip is kneaded from several different kinds of meat. Paimon and Yan Xiao put in a lot of effort to make it just right. Uh, so I'm not an expert or anything. But don't different meats have different cooking times? Uh, uh, how is everything in this dish cooked to perfection? Well, you see, uh, um, that's a trade secret. Wow, so this dish really is one of a kind. That makes the whole trip worth it. By the way, does this special dish have a name? I forgot to mention that part. The dish is called Trembling Strings and Rushing Reeds, alluding to the way that the different threads of meat are woven together. And also... The complex layers of flavor, yes? Akin to the harmonies of a musical ensemble. The name, if I'm not mistaken, is a Leoic idiom that evokes a vigorous orchestral performance featuring both stringed and wind instruments playing together. Mm. Quite an apt name for this dish. Uh, how did you know all that? Every student has to master at least 20 languages before they graduate. Wait, is that not a requirement anymore? Uh, huh? Oh, that used to be a thing? Oh, Paimon almost forgot that you're also from her habitat. So, um... Anyway, how much does this dish cost? Oh, don't worry, not too much. That'll be, uh, 30,000 more, please and thank you. 30,000? <sighs> <sighs> uh, about that, Paimon, Traveler, I merely invited you to join us at the table, did I not? I don't believe I committed to paying for you. So, perhaps we could split the bill accordingly? Oh, Paimon knew it was too good to be true. Hey, there's no need to... Oh, uh, well, it was your hard work anyway. You can call the shots. 20% off of 30,000? <sighs> That's still a pretty hefty expense. <sighs> all right, all right. I'll just consider that the cost of learning about this dish. Once I'm back in Sumeru, I'll be sure to find someone to help me recreate the dish. And then, and then, I'll make it all back. I feel so much better now that I've gotten some food in me. 
Delicious food really does wonders for one's spirit. Uh, <laughs> uh, my advisor said that young people shouldn't stay cooped up in the academia all the time. Uh, they told me that I should take the chance to get out and see the stars in other skies. Ah, oh, uh, maybe I can think of it as my first internship experience? Oh, but it sure is exhausting. Hmm. Oh. Now, how should I justify a high price tag for a dish without any fancy ingredients? Huh. Maybe start by giving it a fancy sounding name? I should have known you'd see through me. <sighs> Everyone was exhausted and seasick when I made the offer last night, so I figured they probably wouldn't be able to eat all that much today. Well, you saw how that turned out. I tried placing some limitations on the order to keep costs under control, but you still found a way around my schemes. <sighs> That's what I get for not thoroughly researching the market beforehand. Hey, you're not even paying those too much of a salary. Just treat them fairly next time and don't be so stingy. Well, yeah, but that's why Paimon's qualified to talk about this. Even though I didn't get to try Adeptus Temptation or Bamboo Shoot Soup, this trembling strings and rushing reeds was still quite impressive. Thank you for making it. Well, about that. Even though newfangled contraptions are hardly my cup of tea, Dory's offer was quite enticing. She said that every time we stopped at a new harbor, I'd be free to go and pick out some ancient books at the market and bring them back to Sumeru. <laughs> I couldn't resist an offer like that. So I offered to join for the lowest possible pay to undercut all my Kasharawar competitors. We're off to a good start this morning. Keep up the good work. I'm counting on you. <laughs> 